Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bonding with Bon Shep. We're going to go around the room in alphabetical order, and we're going to introduce ourselves and where we're from. Hi there. Brian O'Connor, good old Garden State, New Jersey. Alphabetical <laughs> order, that means it's an A, Brian. <laughs> 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 wait, wait, I thought this was like Hollywood Squares, which was pointing to my square. <laughs> oh, yes. man, we should keep this on. Give me awesome. All right, I, let's... You got to point to the square. Okay. <laughs> you pointed to me, Al, so I took it as go. Well, but that's not alphabetical then, Kaya. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same square. All right, alphabetical order. St. Louis, Missouri. Brian O'Connor, Garden State, New Jersey. Deborah O'Dell, Seattle, Washington. Morris Simmons, Frisco, Texas. Wonderful. It's so good to see you guys. So I'm going to pick your brain about a few things, and we're going to do the Hollywood Square thing. Now we know that works. And ask you some questions. All right. So here's my question. How far down the road do you see acrylic gloves and other PPE products being used as we go back to phase one, two, three, and new normal? And I'm going to go with Adel. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is uh, this is a good Tuesday, guys. <laughs> So Kaya, to answer your question, yes, uh, all this product, I, in my opinion, it's going to be around for a while. Number one, uh, we need to continue to really protect the uh, employees, the guests, the customers, the visitors to the, any of the establishment, you know, and the sectors, many of the sectors that I work with being uh, contract feeders or higher educations or military or, um, you know, lodging or what have you, they're all uh, want to protect their, their their folks, you know, and it's really the only way to do it is to continue to uh, have separation doing the social distance, you know, utilizing the equipment that we've been uh, producing and promoting here for a while. So um, again, in my opinion, I don't see this going anywhere, uh, anywhere, anytime soon. Try to put a time stamp on it. Just wild guesses, Morris. Uh, it, it's kind of hard to say. I, I think until there is uh, a, a, vac a vaccine, that we can feel comfortable with and people are willing to, to take the vaccine, um, I think this is gonna be around for a year or a couple of years, simply because we're, uh, you know, we're well away, uh, quite a ways away from getting a vaccine. A vaccine. Um, so I think it's gonna take a while, but like Adel said, you know, everyone perception is reality and we need, everyone needs to perceive that they're safe and healthy. So this will be in our portfolio for years to come. I agree, uh, Deborah. Um, I agree with everything Morris said, definitely at least a year, um, maybe longer. So we'll, we'll see when the vaccine gets out. Brian, do you dispute? Do you agree? No, not at all. I, I say a year on the low end, you know, all the people that I've been talking to, um, are, are trying to do their best they can, like Alice said, to protect not only the customer, but also their, their employees as well. And it's very difficult because each state varies on when they can open and what their requirements are. But, you know, everybody's doing their, their best uh, that they can do to get these shields in place, again, to protect everybody. But I definitely see it at least a year on the low end, no doubt about it. Gotcha. So while we're on this, and, and obviously Bon Chef pivoted and jumped in real quick to do shields, and then we figured out the uh, aero glove. Oh. Other than that, where are you guys seeing requests for other Bon Chef products? And I know it's dark and dismal right now. Deborah, I'm going to start with you. So um, people are all about the touchless uh, urn adapter. So um, anything touchless is big. I've also got, you know, a, some salad bar projects I'm working on. Um, I've sold some shapers recently. So that kind of thing as well. Goody, right? Uh, I'm actually quite kind of working on a lot of millwork projects. I did have some in the pipeline and obviously, you know, came to a halt when all of this happened, but they're starting to gear back up again and asking for, for quotes um, and getting ready to open up uh, as they get approvals. Um, also, too, I'm doing quite a few quotes for coffee urns and shaping dishes as well. 
Good. which is nice as opposed That's to the shields. Great. But keep the shields coming. We'll make them. <laughs> That's great to hear. And also don't forget our display cases, the wraparound buffet, four-sided sneeze guards. Mo, what do you have? Uh, okay. I'm starting to see some uh, flatware opportunities that start to come across. And, and like Brian said there, people are starting to look at how am I going to reimagine or re-envision my buffet. Buffets will be around. They're just going to be a little bit different than what we are used to. Um, they're probably going to have an employee there manning that station um, to, to mitigate all the, the, the touching and the four-sided sneeze guard. So it's going to change somewhat, but I still think clients are still going to want to make it appealing with the beautiful Bon Chef Cucina pans or Country French. So I think we'll have an opportunity in the near future to sell those items. Agree. Adel? Kaya, before I answer, how about you? Let's hear what your thoughts about what you're needing. Well, well, what I'm hearing a lot is uh, uh, three three things actually come to mind. One, the convention centers are up ordering. Convention centers are ordering. Um, people are getting back together with safety measures in place, but people got to eat. So uh, convention centers have not stopped. Uh, another area that I've gotten a lot of requests are for folks that have had their CapEx money already set aside and for new builds, because that money's been earmarked. So that money has been assigned to be used. And now that we are being led out of the uh, stay at home practices, even though where I live and where Morris lives is actually seeing a huge spike. So we don't know how that's gonna shake out. But as people are getting more back out there, uh, these properties are going to use their CapEx money and openings <clears throat> are going to reopen. So I've been uh, seeing not a lot, very few, but little glimmers of hope, if I may. Back to you. <laughs> no, great. Um, you know, similarly to uh, what everybody said, I think there are um, some mill millwork projects are coming along, you know, maybe some buffet pieces. But uh, what I've been seeing a lot of requests for is our uh, coated aluminum uh, smart bowls, you know, the, the buffet and the salad bar uh, not going away. Maybe it's going to be revamped how we serve, you know, customers. But uh, the great products, you know, to, to maintain the temperature and uh, the look of the buffet, utilizing the smart bowls, uh, quite a bit of requests coming in through right now. So, uh, which as you guys know, it's my favorite product. Yes, you have an smart ongoing bowl. love affair with a smart bowl. <laughs> all right, I got one more question for all of you. It's a yes or no and a reason why, all right? Uh-oh. Would you get on a plane tomorrow? Yes, no, and why? Zebra. Um, I'm not ready to get on a plane yet. I love traveling and I am looking forward to getting back out on the road. But at this point, I, I just am not convinced that we have the virus under control. Okay, fair enough. Oh, what about you? Would you get on tomorrow? Oh, oh. Yes, no, or and why? Uh... No, because American Airline uh, just announced that they're going to load the planes up. The middle seat will, will be occupied. Um, and I just don't feel safe right now. So I'm going to maintain from home and do a lot of working from home and meetings this way. So my answer is no. All right, Brian, middle seat tomorrow, Vegas. Yes, no, and why? Anytime to Vegas. Absolutely not. <laughs> COVID or no COVID. Um, you know, Kaya, you know, obviously if we need to see a customer and a customer is requesting to see us, um, you know, we seriously have to think about, you know, the customer's needs and, and wants. Um, if it's very important, yes, I need to do that. Um, but also too, it's going to be in the back of your mind, sitting on a plane, you know, who's sitting next to you or who's sitting in the row in front of you, who was sitting there before you. It's a lot of things you have to think about. I don't know that I would rush to get on a plane tomorrow. Um, was it yes or no? No, no. <laughs> uh, yes, for me, Kaya, since I, uh, since middle seat is going to be open until September, at least on Southwest, I am going to be, I'm going to be getting on a plane. So what happens in September? Well, who knows by then? <laughs> but you asked me if I'm going to get on a plane tomorrow, and the answer is yes. September, right. maybe no. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, I, I don't know. I, I was asked to go meet a customer. I said yes. So I will be going on a plane. I'll actually see Morris next week, and I'll report back how that went. So from all of us at Bon Chef, as we always say, 
Wear your mask. Wear your mask. mask. And as always, peace. Peace. Stay safe. Bye, guys. Love it. <laughs> oh, Brian. It's Back. awesome.